Hello everyone, Mr. Dolphin here. So Pixar has left early access and it's now officially released on PC, Xbox, PS4 and the Switch. But it comes a couple new features, uh, documentation and breeding, as well as all, all the other things they added during the early access phase. Uh, this particular video is going to focus mostly on all documentation and breeding. So anyway, let's jump right into it. So I want to talk to you about automation, which is one of the things being added with the official launch of Pixar, which is pretty much the ability to remote, it's, it's kind of like remote mining, and as the word says, it's just automation. So, but one of the most amazing things I find about automation is just the ability to infinitely mine a particular resource. So right now I have a miner, an arm, and a sender, along with my generator here. So in this particular case, I've been farming this one resource for maybe I want to say maybe about two hours, minus one piece of uh, one single block of iron. So you can see the miner is grabbing the iron, although it's, it's pretty slow. It does pay off because it is pretty much infinite. You don't have to break down that, that single block. So the miner is currently farming that, and I have an automatic arm which is moving that resource into the sender and as you can see now the sender is sending it to my receiver and if we move up here to my work actually this was a big this was actually very small then I realized that I need a lot of more space to make this work so as you can see everything is being sent now to the receiver and the receiver is receiving all that iron that's been mined from the miner so and I, I, you can have multiple receivers on the list uh, for example if I remove this I can select from a list of centers so I'm gonna select the one that's closest to me and it will start and the receiver will start receiving that particular resource and here I have an automatic filter which is pretty much just filters the particular resource that you want to buy so if you put iron in this slot it will only grab iron from, from a storage box or crafting station, in this case, from my receiver. It could be a box, it could be anything. And then it's putting it, and now it's putting everything in an automatic storage box, and here all my iron is, and this is where all my iron is going to go. So, there's like so many combinations that you can do with this method now, and here I have my. Uh, what is exactly this is called? This is called. Uh, conveyor arm. I probably butchering, butchering that. So I'm gonna actually turn that up. If I can get to it. Okay. So in this particular, there's many situations in which you want to move a particular resource straight into crafting station. In which case, uh, the electric electric tank, which and everything is being controlled here by the center control unit. So everything that's in the center control unit it can be turned off and it can be immediately crafted right here. So I don't have to go to each station and, and start crafting. However, you have to make sure that your station is actually placed next to the center control unit. As you can see, my if I place my forge somewhere else, let's say if I place it here at the other end, I would not be able to access it from the center control unit. Control units. So you gotta make sure that your crafting stations, forges, or whatever you want to call it, are placed next to the center control unit. So that way you can control them. So in this case, I want to move whatever stone that I'm farming and move it to the electric tank, which I can then use to convert stone into iron. So the way I found that I can do it, I have to take everything from here, place, take everything, place the block first, then turn on the conveyor, and it will start grabbing the first item that I place there. Uh, in case you have like multiple items going into a storage box, and then we'll start moving the stone, the rock in here. And if you're doing multiple things at the same time, then you can use, and you can start crafting from there. 
start crafting start crafting iron from the center of the road. And here I have an autom automatic fuel arm. Let's say there is no fuel on this porch. Just put fuel here. And pretty much what the fuel arm does is just grab fuel from a container and puts it into a forge, smelter, whatever you want to call it. And once again, there's like many different combinations you can do with this. You can have, and that's pretty much how automation works. Uh, but once again, the thing that I find the most amazing about this is just the ability to have the miner mine one single block. So you, if you're out there, hey, I'm looking for iron, I'm looking for silver. You just find that one block and place a miner and you pretty much just have an infinite amount of that reset. I'm not sure if that's actually intended, but it is, it is what it is. That is the way it is at the moment. And a fine pretty much. So we have the automatic smithy as well, which is pretty much, I want to uh, just, I guess an automatic version of the smithy and the fabricator, which I guess I can attach next to a control unit and just do everything remotely at the same time. Pretty amazing. Um, I'm liking it a lot. I, I think automation is, yeah, is is really cool, especially in particular maps where you like trying to find a particular reason. You go all the way across the map. You can just place a sender and have all these resources mined remotely. Anyway, so that's pretty much uh, how automation works. Uh, we're gonna be moving on to the next thing. Alright guys, so also one of the things that comes with the official launch of Pixar is the ability to breed dinosaurs. Um, so it pretty much works exactly the same way as art. You need to put a theme into Wandering. Let's put this two into Wandering. And what that will do is it will start mating, both animals will start mating and you will get a time, um, a mating bar. And when that mating bar finishes, uh, it will, well, depending on the type of dinosaur, it will drop an egg. Uh, I'm not, I don't think this works with mythical creatures, as some mythical creatures don't really have a, don't associate with a particular sex. So, so I'm pretty sure this works with most of the standard dinosaurs like Rexes, Strikes, um, Theomias, etc, etc, etc. So once this, once the egg drops, uh, we'll be hatching. We'll be hatching this. All right, so that's done. Uh, I got a simple wondering again. And here we go. Now we have our fertilized track egg, and as you can see, there is, you'll be able to make them after a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna take this egg, and it's pretty much the same principle as in Park. Make sure you don't eat your egg by mistake, as many have done in the past before. So, so you gotta make sure you put your eggs next to, uh, I think, an air conditioner. Um, otherwise, the egg could either be too cold or too hot. So it's just better to just put them next to an air conditioner. And and now that it's incubated, all I need to do is just wait this timer for the for the baby to pop. Uh, certain animals require a certain amount of meat, like rexes require just meat, tracks, tracks, and herb herbivores require just berries, and so on and so on and so on. Um, so, in compared to a normal arc, which is uh, I believe ten percent before baby face changes to juvenile in Pixar is 5% before it changes from baby face to juvenile and then during the baby phase they can only be fed they can only be hand fed so you have to manually put food into their inventory for them to eat otherwise it will start to dead and after they go past the baby phase then they can eat from, from a feeding trough all right so uh, I have 20 seconds left before this track Finish incubating. Uh, if I'm lucky enough, I'll get triplets. Uh, and 
wonder if the parent tree, burnt tree is different from normal art. Let's see how this works. Oh, oh, I actually got twins. <laughs> oh, 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 I was not expecting. I'm getting twins. Oh, they're so cute. They are so cute. So as you can see, um, there is a chance of getting twins or or triplets in this case. I got I got twins. I was actually not expecting on getting twins. Oh, that's so so cool. So cool. Oh, that's nice. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.